fact, we're just heading into Curacao now. Had a good breakfast this morning at the Windjammer Buffet. And then we're gonna go to the aquarium, take the little guy, see some dolphins, some sharks, and a little uh, tour around. Immediately getting off the cruise ship, we knew this was going to be a wonderful time. Curacao is spectacular, it's gorgeous, just the architecture mixed with the landscape is stunning. We absolutely loved our time here. One thing I thought was really cool at the aquarium is you can actually feed the animals. You can feed the flamingos and some of the sea animals. They'll take your photos while you're doing this, so if you want a really cool souvenir, this is definitely a spot where you can get that. bunch of the fish and all the stuff. He loved the flamingos and the giant goliath grouper is really cool. Uh, we're gonna see maybe some stingray feeding, uh, nurse shark feeding, we saw the flamingo feeding so a uh, really cool spot so far and gorgeous day. A little windy but that's that's all right when you're uh, doing this kind of trip. I think this dolphin was trying to start something because he was always eyeing us up. While this aquarium definitely wasn't one of the bigger ones I've been to, it was really neat to see sea life in their natural habitat. The sharks and the dolphins had a large area where they could swim and come back, and they just had a more natural experience, and we really enjoyed seeing this while we were there. There's a boat outside that you can go into, and all of the sea life that you can see from above, you also get to see from below. Now, our toddler loved this. He would have stayed in there all day if he could. It was packed full of people. You kind of felt like a sardine, but it was definitely an experience that you want to do. We booked this excursion through the cruise line. We found there was a little bit too much time at the aquarium, so we ended up booking a cab and taking that back instead of waiting for the shuttle. If you're doing this excursion, it might be something where you take a cab from the cruise ship to there, and then you can explore and take a cab back when you want to. So at the end, instead of having lunch um, at one of the restaurants nearby, we decided to come back to the ship. Uh, ended up taking a cab ride from the aquarium instead of waiting for the uh, shuttle to come back and grab us. Cost a little bit more, but uh, it was worth it to get him down for a quick little nap so we could have a good afternoon. Did some duck hunting. Uh, we're going to go uh, try to find the 
bionic bar, I think. Not the bionic bar, the up and down bar, the lift one. So hopefully we can find that. Um, that'll be fun. Uh, little guy's gonna go for a swim in the pool with his grandparents and we're gonna keep on rolling. What I meant to say there was actually find a seat on the Rising Tides bar. It is located in the middle of the promenade. You will never miss it. However, sometimes getting a seat on it can be a bit of a challenge as a lot of people love to spend their afternoons and evenings on this bar. Now we had an amazing day in Curacao, so we're going to go ahead to dinner and then we're going to rush to Hero because our show got cancelled the night before, so we have to sprint there. Also, going to pick up some candy to bribe the toddler if we need to. Hey, can you daddy smooch? after a uh, super cool show and then we went and saw ice skating uh, that was uh, cool as well just kind of wild to have a rink on ice but the, uh, yeah hero show was awesome uh, Arlo watched the whole thing pretty much he really enjoyed it we had a quick ride on the carousel uh, we're back up at the room now and now we are uh, gonna go out and just take in some sights uh, we're cruising along the uh, island of Curacao right now so it'd just be kind of cool to go up and look around yeah. 